Jake Sutherland. Uh, name might give a little bit away there. I'm uh, representing the third generation of the family interest in Sutherland Packaging, a business that was originally started by my grandfather, Gene Sutherland, uh, 60 years ago, actually, in 1964. It's been an experience. It continues to be uh, a great experience. Uh, definitely a lot to learn for myself. Prior to this, I spent 10 years, initial stage of my career, in finance and banking in New York. So this is a big shift for me. Um, but overall, the change is very exciting and I'm excited for the team we have here in the future ahead of us. Yeah, it's definitely not corporate. Uh, we are a small business and we're proud of that. Even though sometimes we might need not be as you know, polished or as clean cut as you would see in a corporate organization, what isn't lacking is passion. And we have people on our team at Sutherland who have been here for 20, 30, 40 years, back when my grandpa started the business. And that to me outshines everything else that a corporate environment could bring. I'd like to think so, yeah. I have to give credit to the people here as well. They kind of knew me from when I was 12 years old, uh, working the glue line in the summers, but I came back in uh, fall of this year and they welcomed me right back in. Uh, they were excited to see another Sutherland coming into the business. So that was great to see. I guess that's to be seen, right? Time will tell. But I'd like to think I drew the longest straw. It is. Yeah, and that's what we saw kind of late in the later stages of the brown box era is we were getting squeezed by the bigger companies who could do things at a scale and on efficiencies that ourselves as a smaller company, we just couldn't compete with. That was part of the shift into this high color direct print era and the continued shift into digital. It was more because it was a growing market segment E-commerce was really taking off. These smaller brands who wanted to stand out, say in the grocery store aisle or the big box retailer aisle, we saw that as a growing source of demand for point of purchase displays, point of sale. And that kind of helped with our transition into, as you said, the display space. Yeah, I, I think it's a bit unusual. I think it speaks to the capabilities of the team we have here at Sutherland. Our structural designers, uh, are in a class of their own. Uh, what these guys are able to do with a piece of cardboard would absolutely blow your mind. And that started in just building out very resilient brown box, corrugated boxes, but it transformed into, oh, we can build these structures that will stand for months on end, supporting heavy products in a really high traffic area, and we can make them look great at the same time. Yeah, what I do know about that decision-making process is that Manny and our sales team kind of organically discovered this demand for digital printed products in the market. They took the small capability that we had, just our toe in the water with the 15500, and they started to build on that with outsourcing, with working with partners around the country to say, oh, this is actually a market that's pretty sizable and we can directly serve them if we invest a bit more into this digital space? It really was twofold, right? So first it was the idea that we were introduced to this concept. And then we started doing our own research. And what we did was we started to build a portfolio around the idea of digital. We partnered up with some key people, uh, some vendors out there, and it wasn't just HP, it was just digital as a, as a whole. And what that allowed us to do is start to build this portfolio. And as we started to build it, uh, our CFO, Paul Yost, did just an amazing job of crunching the numbers and looking at if we were to enter into this space, what would that actually do for us? And again, starting with the HDR, um, they built a case of where it made sense. And when we put our first one in, we just continued our journey from there. Yeah, I think we're really in the early stages of, of finding that out. Uh, we just had this installed 
in April of 2023 and we're standing here in January of 2024. So it almost feels like we're still in the early days of discovering the potential of the C550. But even with that said, we've had the opportunity to uh, help customers with some bigger jobs or some custom jobs where they needed a different print style on a larger run. And even from one job, you can immediately see the capability that this provides. What the machine really does is allows us to work at the pace of business. Today, retail, especially retail, is putting so much pressure on our customers to perform. Yes, they're still doing things overseas, and that, that's little by little is gonna go away, by the way. And what's happening is they have these windows that they need to jump through and the conventional route just wasn't really working. It's not answering all those problems. This machine solves those problems. They should go digital because speed. It goes back to what I was saying uh, earlier when it comes to the pressures our customers are being put under. Today, if you look at a lot of our competitors that are doing it, not the digital way, okay? They're, it's taking six weeks eight weeks. We had a situation the other day where we, a customer came to us and said, we have 100,000 boxes. There's five different SKUs. We're really in a jam here. What do we do? Our work came in on Monday. Board was here on Tuesday. We were printing on Wednesday. Where are you going to do that? Only place you're going to do that is on the C550. What we're actually doing is helping them, educating them on what is your annual buy? What does that look like? What are the different SKUs? Let's rip that artwork, let's get it ready, make sure you're happy, and then let's just plan accordingly. We'll just print what you need. We don't have to go crazy and stock it all over the place. I wouldn't call it difficult per se. I think so much of it is that the market isn't aware of the capabilities that we have here yet. What we've seen with our existing customers and with new customers coming in is as soon as they see what they can do and what Sutherland can do for them with this machine, customization, color, consistency from the first to the last sheet of the run at a lower cost to the customer because of the speed that we're running and the efficiencies, they're sold. Conventionally, like I, earlier I showed you a retail package. That retail package conventionally either is done with an SBS top liner sheet or it's being printed conventionally uh, with plates. Both are very costly. Both require the customer to buy a certain amount, right, so that they see this economy of scale. We don't have to worry about that. The size of the press being 52 by 98 allows us to nest and really maximize the press. And by doing that, it puts us in a competitive space and allows our customers not to worry about the economy of scale. They could buy what they need, when they need it, and the SKUs are limitless. There are situations in which it remains the case above a certain quantity still might be cheaper to run on the analog equipment. Very high volumes, very long runs. The business that we were getting squeezed in in the brown box days, that's where customers could still find efficiencies with the legacy equipment. Digital is more efficient, better customer experience for everything else because customers do not have to incur the cost of print plates, do not have to incur the cost of prep and setup time that's involved in getting a analog piece of equipment up and running. Here it's pre-press, preparing the file, sending it to the computer, the machine picking that file from the computer and running it through. Currently it's supplemental. I think what we're doing uh, on the conventional side of the business is still extremely valuable and we have just so much expertise now in the five color process, the analog five color process. However, in the future, I see us investing far more in the digital side of the business than in the analog side of the business. I do think it's where we are going as a company. The biggest surprise after we got it was how intense you really need to be when it comes to your pre-press, right? The, the front end of the business really needs to be robust, as robust as the press itself. And your sales team really needs to be up there as well. 
Yeah, HP has been great with supporting us and helping us from install to troubleshooting to ramp up. Uh, they continue to be a close partner because HP wants to see the machine run well as well. They want to see us succeed uh, and that's been a huge help. Uh, again, I'll also credit our team here at Sutherland. They were very excited to have a piece of equipment like this installed and they immediately stepped up to the challenge, have learned all the intri intricacies of the machine, which has been really cool.